Hi, I'm Dr. Torrance Walker with Forest Park Medical Center, and I'm here today to talk to you about medial collateral ligament injuries, or MCL sprains and strains. The MCL is commonly injured by a blow to the outer aspect of the knee, usually in a contact sport like football, or it can be uh, caused from a twisting injury. However, most uh, patients that have an MCL injury are able to walk on the knee after the injury occurs. However, they may limp. Uh, usually, it takes two to three weeks before the soreness and swelling to go down. There are several different types of MCL injuries, mostly graded one, two, and three. The uh, grade one injury is more of a sprain where the ligament is stretched. The grade two is a partial tear of the ligament, and grade three is a complete tear of the ligament. Grade one, or it's just a sprain, uh, most of these can be treated non-operatively, of course, with uh, bracing and a little physical therapy. Time off from play may be necessary, usually uh, in the order of three to four weeks. It's the same treatment for a uh, grade two sprain, uh, where it's partially torn. So most medial collateral ligament injuries can heal on their own. Grade three injuries, which are complete tears of the ligament, may require surgery if the knee is still somewhat unstable. Uh, on clinical examination. Surgery in this setting is usually done because there's an associated injury such as a combined ligament injury with the ACL and the MCL in the same knee. Ligament is reconstruction of the, of the MCL involves uh, re reinforcing the ligament with autograph or allograph. Uh, and this can be a source of tenderness or collagen material from your own body or from that of a donor or cadaver. After surgery, the patient is placed in a brace and it may take, of course, six weeks before that ligament fully heals. Uh, during this time, the knee is protected with the brace and crutches, uh, but physical therapy is started immediately to begin range of motion exercises to prevent stiffness. In general, if you feel as if you injured your knee or tweaked it uh, and may have an MCL injury, then the initial treatment you should do is rest it, ice it, and elevate it. It's important that you get evaluated by a healthcare professional to assess the stability of your knee and make sure that the appropriate classification is determined for your type of ligamentous injury. Most people don't get a lot of the swelling with MCL injuries uh, as they do with ACL injuries. Uh, and that's why I say some people can just you know, go without uh, getting evaluated or they may feel as if they can go without it and get back into play. Uh, what can occur too is if you injured your MCL, that leaves your knee with a little bit of instability and then you get back out and play and tweak your knee again and then result in another injury like to the ACL or the meniscus. So it's good to get checked out by an athletic trainer as soon as something happens uh, just to be certain that you have just a grade one or grade two sprain and not a more serious type knee injury.